In this video, we're going to look at some power moves that work on all levels of Gabriel. Now, your weapons may vary depending on the cycle and what RNG is giving you, but for the most part, the idea works the same. This is Gabriel 5 for demonstrations, and because it works here, it will definitely work in 1, 2, 3, and 4. So power move 1. Gabriel lands on the map. You want to teleport right beneath him, get right to his feet, prepare your most powerful weapon, and get ready to give him a couple of pops. Now there is a subtlety here, is you want to be facing, even if his back is towards you, you want to be facing towards off the map, because Gabriel will fly away from you. And one of the advantages of having him off the map is that he cannot spawn any witches or cupids when he's off the map. But I'll show you how to deal with that in a second. So, again, at his feet, be ready to pop him, give him a couple pops, and off he flies. Power move number two, as he flies away, go after him. Go up on a pillar, go up on a rafter, and keep going after him. In cycle one, two, and even three, if you have a cat or a cat three, you can pretty much finish him off at this point. Gabriel five, it's not enough, but it certainly uh, damages him a lot. Now, he is either going to swoop in at you and take some swipes, or he's going to lightning bolt you. Here is power move number three. You want to protect yourself from those bolts. Now you can, yes, you can use your shield, and it has to be in just the right spot to protect yourself, but it's risky. So the best power move is to use the pillar as your protection, jump down, get in behind, and you cannot get hurt. Three booms, come around the corner, and start taking your shots again, and he'll fly off on you. Now you could go up on the pillars and go after him, but I'll wait it out here and cycle five because it's too risky to lose with double death. Now, the next power move is much the same, but this time with his sword swipe. As he swoops in to swipe you with the swords, what you're going to do again is go behind the pillar. Out of line of sight is very important, and he cannot hurt you. He'll take one, two, three, and even a fourth swipe. When that's finished, come around the corner and go after him with your most powerful weapon. And uh, in most cases, you'll get the job done. But again, here, cycle five can't get it done. So off he flies which leads us to our final power move, which is this, and it's very effective. So when he comes down again onto the map and he's about to do his sword in the ground lightning bolt, which will spawn some witches and cupids, right before he lands, teleport right to his feet. Don't be afraid of it. You might take a hit, in most cases you don't. Get right under him and finish the job. Again, in cycle one, two, three, and four, this is enough. In cycle five, it's not quite enough even with Cat 5, so we'll have to finish him off with a Tempest. So try these power moves with Gabriel, see how they work for you, and hopefully they help you get a little further on in the game. So keep on keeping on, and thanks for watching.